Hello, and welcome to this brief demonstration of UI Builder for Microsoft Access, the leading application framework to help you jumpstart your database process or enhance an existing database. What you're seeing here is a typical Microsoft Access database using the Access Switchboard Manager, which has been the same since Access 2.0 in the mid-90s. Now what you'll notice here is you have some fairly easily configurable navigation with buttons associated with labels. It's not very intuitive, however, from a user perspective in terms of the number of windows you have to open and continually shift the windows around. And if you need more than the eight typical buttons, you need to start adding layers to the, da to the dashboard, making it additionally more complicated. Now let's see how we can take UI Builder for Microsoft Access and significantly enhance your existing database in minutes. As you'll see, we have the main window for UI Builder. In this case, we have a form, Welcome to UI Builder, displayed. There are two editions to, Enter to UI Builder, the Enterprise Edition and the Business Edition, and I'll speak briefly about the differences in a moment. The left-hand side here has the menu buttons. As you can see, there's only two menu buttons at this point, a Configure and an Exit button. You can configure up to eight menu buttons very easily. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to migrate our existing application we just looked at into UI Builder. So I'll go ahead and open the import wizard, select the database, and the tables that I want from my database. I don't need to import the switchboard manager. have a report here and nothing else. So the forms and reports are now being imported into your database. So we have the forms now in the database. And you'll note here you don't see the navigation pane in Access 2007. We have a configurable button here. You can turn it on or off if you don't want your users to see the navigation pane. And now we can expose the navigation pane. And you'll see here the customers table, the orders table, and several of the forms, the customers forms, are now available. So the first thing we'll do is just personalize the application. So as I mentioned, you can change the application name. Maybe I, my company is South Shore Realty. And we also happen to have uh, another line of business where we handle orders. So I'll just call this the South Shore Customers Database. South Shore Realty. And here's where you would put your website which will drive some of the links when you click on specific areas, uh, opening up the hyperlink there. There's additionally the About box that you can configure. Now the Enterprise Edition has user level menus, and what that means is as we define menu buttons, both on the left hand side and sub menu buttons up here, we can define them by user. Because of course you might have different user roles in your database. Some users you may want to limit just to read only access to see specific information, and others might be power users and you want them to have access to different forms in your database. UI Builder makes that very easy to define at a role based level and then you can associate users to those roles. So let's continue with our personalization though. So maybe the first form we want to show uh, for the user is going to be the customer's form. So I'll go ahead and just navigate and find the customer's form. And note that in the business edition you have this level of flexibility to configure. It's just not at a user level. Now the next thing is I might want to select a logo that I want to display instead of the UI Builder logo. So that's very easy to do as well. It's on my desktop here. Okay, and then finally, maybe I don't like this color scheme, I want to create my own, so I'm going to click on Edit Color Scheme. There are some predefined color schemes that come with UI Builder, and you're absolutely free to customize those or create your own. I'm just going to go ahead and click Green since it's consistent with uh, the theme. Now you note this little pop-up window here. If you are experienced with Visual Basic, this kind of feature is also available to you. So that if you are a developer with Microsoft Access, you have some great tools in your toolkit to really advance the presentation to your users. But if you're not a developer, there's no need for you to have to use Visual Basic to use UI Builder. Okay, so now as you'll note here, the color schemes change. We actually have a different uh, name up here for the database. And I'm gonna go back in now, and we're gonna configure the menus. Okay, so the first button I might want here is going to be, uh, as an example, the customer screen. 
and I can select from up to 25 or more different menu commands that are pre-built and don't require Visual Basic, whether it's creating an email, executing a mail merge that I've predefined, opening a dialog box or a file on my computer, uh, or a subform in this main form window that you see here. I can also open a URL and numerous other commands, and all of this doesn't require Visual Basic, and that's the power of UI Builder, is you can really enhance your existing database without being a Visual Basic expert. Okay, so I'll go ahead and select my customers form. Now you'll note on the right hand side here I have an edit submenu button. So I can configure for each of the main menu buttons a submenu that might have specific uh, tasks that are associated with that menu button. So if I'm in the customer screen as an example, I maybe want to add a record. Maybe one of the things I want to do though is I want to create an Outlook reminder or a task. So I could say new task as an example. And one of the many predefined features would be to create an Outlook task. And I'll show you how that works in a moment. Now, if you happen to get confused at any point or are uncertain what you need to do, on most of these screens, you're going to see a little uh, prompt here that says press F3 button to see what sort of action you need to take in this field. And it pops up an item help. And this is going to give you more detail about this particular command and how to, how to configure it. So it's pretty simple here. I just have to put create outlook task. I can define up to five submenu buttons. And I can also say whether I want it to show by default or be hidden by default. And I can do that again individually for each main menu item. Now maybe I don't want anything in the second menu option button, but in the third I want to show uh, orders as an example. And I can again select from the different menu buttons and options. And I'll go ahead and do that. And maybe I don't want a submenu for this uh, for this particular form. And maybe the final button that I'm going to configure is just help. And uh, perhaps for my users, I want to be able to launch them to, uh, to a help site. And I don't need a submenu button for that. So now let's go ahead and see these changes apply. And first, let me note, you'll see an upgrade button here. UI Builder uh, includes future upgrades as well when you license the product. We're on version 3.1, we'll soon be having 3.2. And it's important to note that we have an upgrade process that can help you to automatically upgrade your database to the latest and greatest version of UI Builder without touching the forms that you've incorporated into UI Builder or, or other objects. So I'll apply settings here. And now you're going to see the menu change again. Now we have our customers button. I didn't have anything in the second slot. Orders and then the help button. So you can define up to eight different buttons. If I click on customers, you're going to see the customers form again. And now you'll note that the sub menu has changed. So I can click on new task as an example and I can create myself a new Outlook task. So UI Builder includes integration to send over Outlook tasks uh, as well as merge formatted emails to Outlook. Let's create this Outlook task here and maybe the task is just to call Joe. And uh, I just want to say call Joe regarding this order. And I can optionally put a due date if I want to. And uh, so I'll go ahead and say I want to do that tomorrow. And I'll create the task. And it'll pop up a confirmation here. It doesn't require me to click OK because it's just a pop-up notification. And now if we go to Outlook, you'll note that I have a new reminder that's due on Friday that says I need to call Joe. So that's one of the great features and, and powerful features in UI Builder is integration to Microsoft Outlook. A lot of tools that don't require any visual basic learning for you and are easy to configure. And if you're a software developer developing for a client, you can jumpstart your project and start to work on things that really matter, such as the forms user interface, as opposed to spending all your time on the menuing and, and uh, overall appearance. UI Builder also comes with advanced tools. As an example, in the Enterprise Edition, you have the ability to set up audit history. So if you've ever wanted to be able to track changes, ads, deletes in your forms, UI Builder has a very easy facility to help you set that up. And if you're unfamiliar with Visual Basic, all you need to do is be able to cut and paste. There are too many features for me to demonstrate here, but hopefully this gives you an idea of the powerful capabilities available in UI Builder. We continue to enhance the product. We have thousands of users worldwide that are using UI Builder to accelerate their projects and enhance their databases. 
We encourage you to learn more and download a free evaluation on the OpenGate software website at www.opengatesw.net. Thanks for your time and we hope you enjoyed watching this demonstration.